Not only does it provide additional income stream for the property owners that may be utilizing the pads, um, but also stimulates local economies by encouraging tourism, supporting small businesses, and catering to the growing demographic, um, which can otherwise not afford to live here. Deschutes County is considering an amendment that would allow RVs to be used as long-term rental units on rural residential properties larger than one acre. Basic eligibility requirements currently being considered include the RV being titled by a Department of Transportation, the RV being owned or leased by the tenant, the property owner providing sewage water and electrical hookups to an RV parking pad made of gravel, concrete, or asphalt. Myself as a homeowner, if I, if I did have an RV dwelling on my property, my septic would not allow for an additional residence. Um, to be added to it. So this I man thinks there should be an option to allow storage of RV septic waste if the property owner has a contract to have the waste pumped and removed periodically. Another local says he's lived in states where RV rentals are permitted on private property and he's worried about unintended consequences. I've seen a lot of things that really concern me, you know, improper waste disposal, not only garbage but human waste as well. Um, dogs allowed to run wild and to attack wildlife. Members of the public, county staff, and commissioners appear to agree that allowing RV rentals on rural residential lots could help address the affordable housing crisis.